Well, welcome back, Axis and Allies players. This is NATO and the CIC, and this is our kind of reveal of our World War II map. Now, if you watched a previous video of World War One, um, it stated that you know this is uh, never been tested before. This is actually first print, never been play tested. This has all been theory on paper, but um, but yeah, this is our. World War II map. The uh, a lot more of the the world is uh, colored in. <laughs> the China and the warlord states and the, the uh, battle board has been greatly expanded because uh, a, lot, a lot more units on the board. The uh, western half of the United States has been added back in. As you can see, a uh, lot more unit types um, on the board now. Uh, moving to D12s for the dice to represent the uh, much more powerful units and then I got the blow-ups for the high traffic areas um, th these came out a little bit distorted I had to tweak with the dimensions a little bit um, and it's not so bad on the uh, Western theater blow up, but when we get to the Eastern theater blow up, you'll see what I'm talking about. Turkey looks like a stretched out noodle. <laughs> so I have to, like I said, this is all first print, so I have to play with the dimensions a little bit more. And then we got the Asian blow up. So yeah, this is our World War II map. Um, we really like how it turned out. We really like the colors. Um, I don't know, it just seems to pop for us. Uh, there's a new feature on the map. Uh, there's actually terrain now. So things like this, these represent mountains. Um, so that will factor into attacking and defending. Mountains obviously give a defensive bonus. Um, you see over there, that's all the stuff that it will be carried forward from World War I. Uh, so, some things unique about um, our World War II uh, starts in 1927, probably the earliest start for a World War II game, board game out there. Um, uh, unlike the first and second maps, this map is just World War II. There's no other scenarios. Um, because World War II is such a pivotal moment in human history, it, it deserves its its own map, its own game. Uh, there is just so much that happens in World War II that um, it deserves to just be focused. Uh, just because it is probably one of the most pivotal pivotal moments in human history. Um, um, so is that uh? Terrain, new terrain feature mountains. Uh, in this, every single nation has its own unique tech tree for research. Uh, um, there is no universal text. Every tech is, every nation has its own unique tech tree. Um, some, some technologies uh, can't be started until another power unlocks unlocks the technology. Um, so, like. For example, when Germany um, unlocks heavy ta tanks, i.e. the Tiger tank, as soon as that happens, 
the United States, in response, will be able to start researching the Firefly uh, upgrade for the M4 Sherman. Uh, likewise, same with the Soviets, they'll be able to research the T-3485 upgrade once in response to uh, Germany, you know, fielding Tiger tanks. So certain technologies can only be unlocked after an opponent does something. Um, so yeah, just a uh, bunch of new stuff. Um, the training wheels have kind of been uh, metaphorically taken off. Uh, you know, the first, especially the first map, was treated as kind of a tutorial um, where each element gets introduced one at a time, uh, very limited on unit types. Second map, you know, basically the World War One map, um, you know, ramps up the unit types a little bit, but not, you know, not to this degree. Like this is all uh, unit types, and you know, and then this is elite units. So you know, British SAS, U.S. Rangers, Airborne, SS units, Guards units. Udu Jaegers, Sissy Militia, Ski Troops, Imperial Guard, Kwangtung Army. Those are just the elite units. Um, so, you know, this is where everything is pretty much unlocked right out of the get-go. Training wheels are off. This is everything that the Terrabellum game series is striving to achieve and offers thrown to you all at once, so uh, definitely sink or swim time. Um, so uh, let us know what you think, how it looks, if you you know how the colors look. Um, then we'll uh, get it set up for the beginning of World War II. See you then.